To begin, I'm gonna go in with my Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream to moisturize my face. Then I'm gonna go in with my Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. Next, I'm gonna apply my Black Opal Foundation Stick in the shade Truly Topaz. Here I am priming my eyelids with my Smashbox under eye primer. Next I'm going to go in with my Orisa Beauty Palette in the darkest brown shade and I'm going to go in my crease and wing it out. For my transition shade, I'm going to go in with my Milani eyeshadow in the shade Lily White. And then I'm going to go in my crease with my NYX eyeshadow in the shade White Pearl. Then I'm gonna go in with my TA Sun palette in this bubblegum pink shade right here, and I'm gonna go over that white pearl. I wanted this look to pop a little bit more, so I'm gonna go in with my white pearl again under my waterline. Now I'm going in with that brown shade from the Orisa Beauty Palette again. Of course I forgot to do my brows, so now I'm going to go in with my Nika K Brow Balm in the shade Brown. After brushing them, I'm going to go in with my LA Colors Conceal It in the shade Deep to sculpt my brows. I wanted to add a little bit of shine, so I'm gonna go in with my Koki Professionals Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Polaris. Then I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Mega Line Eyeliner. All right guys, so today I'm gonna be using some lashes. So these ones are from Lavish Legacy. They are a black owned company. So these are their fuchsia lashes from the candy collection and that's candy with an eye. Um, so these are 100% real mink and they're high quality, cruelty free, handmade and handcrafted. And these are in the shape flare. So of course I will be leaving their link down below along with a little bit extra information so you guys could definitely go and check them out. These are so beautiful. I'm really living for the color. 
So of course it really matches the look that I'm going for. So let me get these babies on. Then we could get into a quick review about these, then move on to the next steps. Let's go. all right so they are looking so cute i can't wait to finish the look i'm actually gonna do uh my bottom liner and uh the rest of you know my bottom lashes and such and then i'm gonna finish my face off camera and then i'm gonna come back and show you what the look is looking like i feel like i should add a little bit of pink under the eye so i'm also gonna add that for that I am using my Joa Beauty Lineup Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black. All right, so a quick little review about these lashes. Okay, first of all, I am living for the fuchsia. Okay, but the one thing I will say is like when somebody is looking at you, like let's say somebody's shorter than you or they're kind of looking up at you like you can't really see the pink but when i close my eyes it's like very bright very on point very cute um the other thing i will say is that actually these were super easy to just put on um the kit actually came with the clamps and it actually has the lavish legacy logo on it all right so the other thing about these lashes is the fact that like i feel like the inner corners of my eyes for some odd reason they're a little they're a little bit too thick maybe towards the inner corner but i didn't want to mess with the lashes i messed them up but i feel like when you look at me from certain angles you could kind of see where i was having a little bit of issue with it sticking down but definitely not the company's fault y'all um i think that's just me <laughs> in my preferences um i have seen other uh beauty youtubers go ahead and trim them and such but i don't want to do that to these beautiful lashes but i am absolutely living for them um i love the drama but they're not like overly you know in your face but they're like just the perfect volume the perfect width like it's just perfect like when I'm looking to the sign kind of like they look a lot longer on camera than they are in real life. Like I actually put my glasses on for a little bit and like I couldn't blink. <laughs> but actually otherwise like, you know, that's something to, to be expected when you wear glasses, but they're really adorable. I would totally, totally use these again. But yeah. 